Look at that, he's attacking. Okay, the centipede is really unhappy. It's now or never. I'm gonna be bitten by a bark centipede. One. Oh boy. Two. Three. Think of the animal that you fear the most. Maybe it's a spider. Maybe it's a snake. For me, it's a lightning fast, many-legged, venomous creature that lurks under the ground, the centipede. Growing up, I'd be flipping rocks and logs at my grandparents' house in, in their woods, looking for isopods, you know, roly-polies. And every now and then, there'd be a centipede underneath one. I can still feel how my heart would stop when I see that like red, squiggling, squirming thing just booking it to get back under the cover of darkness. Like with many animals, the fear of centipedes comes from their ability to bite. But bites are one of the many defensive arrays that creatures in nature have against predators. And if I can't live at the risk of taking bites in the field, I miss out on the ability to discover more of our planet's incredible secrets. So today, I'm gonna punch fear in the face once and for all, and I'm gonna be bitten by a bark centipede. My mission takes me to a trail running along my backyard pond. It's lined with rotting pine logs and fallen debris. Perfect for a bark centipede. Oh, big centipede, big centipede, oh wow. Oh. oh man, oh man, he is angry. Look at that. Look at how he is just attacking my forceps. Look at that, big red bark centipede. Wow. I've seen that big scolopendras out west. And even though this is small, it looks just like a mini version of those giant centipedes. Now that bright orangish red coloration, that would offer little to no camouflage out here. Predators, if they come across this guy, they're gonna see that orange coloration. It's a warning coloration, it says this animal is very venomous. Don't mess with me or you're gonna get bit. You can even see, even see from here, see those maxillipeds, those venom claws, the centipedes version of fangs folded up right in front of his face. In just a few moments time, I'll be introducing my arm to the wrath of those maxillipeds and that is not gonna be fun, but I'm gonna find out exactly exactly what this centipede can do to a person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this container, I'm gonna remove him with my forceps, I'm gonna press him to my forearm here and induce a bite. And hopefully we'll get some answers. Ooh, he's attacking the thing. Look at that, he's attacking. Okay. Nope, oh, nope, 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 come here. Okay, he almost escaped there. He is very much not happy. All right, he's setting my nerves for a second. Okay, just like a shot, just like a shot. Now, I know this animal isn't deadly. Honestly, I, I know it's probably not even gonna hurt that bad. I look at those legs, I can feel them just like scratching my arm as they grip onto me. And you know, I, I see those fangs and I just, I just can't bring the centipede to bite me. I just, it's like my, my muscles refuse to let this bite take place. It's his back legs are scaring the out of me. I don't know that I can get out of this taking only one bite. There's a point where it becomes obvious that your fear is not gonna magically go away. No matter what approach you take, that thing ahead of you is gonna scare you. It's you versus your own willpower. As I stared down the centipede, I knew that this was that moment. If I was going to take a bite and beat this fear of mine, I was going to have to go forward, no matter what tricks my mind tried to play. All right, let's do this. Ready? One. Two, three. Ah, you got me there. Let's see one more time. Ooh, ow. Yeah, that was it. Wasn't too bad. Let's, I definitely got a little spike there. I definitely felt little bit there but I don't know if he actually got if he broke skin or not it's itching it's kind of unnerving to watch but look there you can even see where his fangs pierce my skin they like 
they, they, they pull up. Even with that immediate jolt of pain, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Look at that. You got me twice. You can see right there, two little welts, and they itch. That skin is raised up. It's getting a little bit blotchy around there. Mmm. My immediate reaction after the bite, it felt like a sharp burn really quick. Each time the, uh, the centipede's fangs punctured my skin and it's been about five minutes and you can see not a whole lot has happened but i will tell you one thing my skin here is tight and it itches like you wouldn't believe so the bite site is here the skin all around here is like tingling and itching it itches almost exactly like an ant sting and that's interesting because technically what I received wasn't actually a bite. See, centipedes, their fangs are actually modified legs called maxillipeds. They're not considered mouth parts. Therefore, this is not a bite. This is a sting that I received. And it is exactly like some ant stings that I have received. And it is, man, it is so itchy. I want to go ahead and point out here that I had to seek out this interaction. This centipede is not the villain here. I had to put this animal under stress to get it to bite me. Now, compared to some things, centipedes are a bit meaner. Centipedes are not afraid to defend themselves if necessary. Most of the time, bark centipedes like this will be living underneath logs and rocks in their habitat. The closest they'll come to your house is like your garden. But just like with snakes and spiders, you know, as long as you don't put your fingers anywhere you can't see them, your chances of taking a centipede bite are extremely low. But what actually happens if a centipede bites you? Well, that depends. All right, it's been a little over an hour after the bite and I still have little welts, but symptoms are completely gone. No itching, the blotching has gone away. Um, safe to say that my body did not have a bad reaction to the centipede venom which is good for me, which means I can actually continue to make more videos like this, but um, I have a mark there. I marked where the uh, borders of the blotching were, but all the blotching has faded very quickly. Centipede bite, not that bad. You know, a little red bark centipede might not have a potent venom because it's mostly gonna be taking down insects and small invertebrates, um, not large mammals like me. This centipede is not that dangerous, but there are centipedes out there that have really potent venoms. The larger scolopendras found in the Southwest and the tropics, those guys actually do take down mammals and vertebrates that are larger than they are. So one of those guys really could mess you up. And actually I did work with a giant redheaded centipede down in Louisiana. If you wanna see that video, check it out right here. Stay curious and I'll see you there.